Here we go. Why do the will punch do this to us? Why, why, why? They go to the rich neighborhood, but they never buy the mansion on the big block. They buy that condo around the corner from the mansion. Manny Machado would be a perfect fit for the fucking Mets. Has anyone noticed for a guy that doesn't hustle, he did have a 300 average and a 370 OBP with 107 rippies and 37 homers? Hello, hello Mr. Wilpon. If all nine of the guys... Hi, are... welcome to My Entire Team Sucks. Woo! I'm your host, Harrison, and joining me are my friends and uh, people suspended from the MLB. Andrew, how many games did you get suspended for and why? Uh, I see. I got suspended for uh, 13 games um, because I said I was unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know why they said that about me. I, I never did anything to be unlucky. I, I, I don't get it. They found an unlucky amount of steroids in your urine. <laughs> Impossible. Well, I never peed. For 13 I haven't games. peed in six days. There's no way they looked at my urine. Moses. Uh, I was actually expelled. Um, I can't ever play in the MLB again because I went to the. They called me into the to the uh, the commissioner's office, oh, and um, the commissioner was talking to me about my performance, and I told him to go suck a poopy. <laughs> Real edgy there, and Jeremy. So, uh, I, I, was, I wasn't for? actually suspended any amount of games. They actually added more games for me to play. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was 16 uh, because the Mets really needed a bullpen hand. So <laughs> I was out there. I threw about 60 on a good day, um, and Innings, right? I picked up 16 wins. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, also they said I was unlucky. <laughs> no, that, yeah, but you won all the games. No way. <laughs> like, no way they would have said that. Like I just imagine <laughs> yeah, it would be calling up like David Wright, like when he was playing. Like, oh, you're suspended for the year. It's just unlucky, man. We 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 just <laughs> Sorry, picked your bro. name out of like a Scrabble bag. <laughs> Ooh. They threw like a dart at the dartboard and it came up on your picture. Why was my picture on the dartboard? Because <laughs> you're just unlucky, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got it in for you. Yeah. Like nature has for Jacob Degrom because apparently the last three <laughs> starts he's had has gotten rained out. And worst part was he got he was forced to pitch in the uh, how long was the delay again? Like three hours long. Yeah, it I think it was like two 11. hours and forty minutes. I think was the was oh yeah it was it, this uh, game time was scheduled to start at seven ten and they didn't they didn't start until nine fifty. So I think it was two hours and forty minutes, which is absolutely ridiculous. Treating your star like that, and actually making him go out and pitch, and and the idea that like they even played that game at all, it's like a nearly three hour rain delay. Like just call it. If you gotta oh, wait cool. that long, just call it. Treating your fans like that too is like terrible. Yeah, that's awful. People who like waited there to like expect a baseball game to be played, like and, sitting through the rain, and they can't even it. move down. They're not even allowed. They, like at Shea, you were allowed to move down. You're not allowed to do that anymore. They are able to exchange their tickets in though for another game. So even if they did stay all the way for that one, they should be able to go to another one. I think. Yeah, but after yeah. that debacle, would they do they want to? <laughs> you also have to go to like the city field, like. Uh, Box ticket office. sales at 9 a.m. the next day, and then, like after like sitting through all that rain. No thanks. <laughs> Can't even do it online. It's 2019, guys. It's current year. What the hell? Yeah, and Fred Wilpon's really old, so I don't think it works for him that way. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilpon. <laughs> <laughs> New segment. <laughs> That's called he Hello, Mr. Wilpon. <laughs> we just play the entire intro song just for three minutes. <laughs> Uh, I'm plugging anything. my SoundCloud right here. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, guys, go listen to my SoundCloud. <laughs> like, like, like they play, they play this game, but like, don't the Mets like? They, isn't it like they have the like they have guys like Corey Oswalt for the purpose of playing games like this? Isn't that like their job? Yeah, he should have been starting from the start. Starting from the start. <laughs> yeah, instead, Corey Oswalt uh, is the guy to clean up other people's messes. And he does a terrible job for it. I was reading like well, like thinking. last year. Like, he started, like, outside of that one, like, really bad start, he had, like, a 3.93 year, right? Which isn't good, right? But it's, like, it's okay. And uh, when he doesn't start, he has, like, a 14 year, right? Cleaning up, like, Fargus' mess or, like, when Jake Durham doesn't go hard. And then he gets uh, the motor to Syracuse. He gets to, like, take a bus ticket, like, back up there as his reward for, like, pitching out of the pen like that. It sucks. I feel bad for the guy. 
yeah, like we we we've always needed someone like that. And I don't understand how like I don't understand how these teams can have bullpen days. Like I know we talked about this last time. I don't understand how teams can have bullpen days when we can barely have like a bullpen inning. <laughs> Well, I think I know why they can do it. It's because their bullpen is good, and ours is not. I think Andrew has solved the problem. I think he's figured yeah. it out. Uh... <laughs> Bottom line, sign Craig Kimbrell, please. It could be worse. We got Trevor uh, Rosenthal with his, like, 36 ERA. At least I yeah, know his name. He has name. a good name, though. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a closer. <laughs> I can't believe he gave up runs like a month ago and his ERA went down. That's <laughs> insane to me. How's Chris Davis doing? Better, I guess. I'm going to look that up right now. Out of the bullpen pretty well, I saw. <laughs> He's betting 155. Oh, that's actually that's pretty bad, good. Bad, he has bad. two home runs, you know. Um, in other news, uh, Chiel Gonzalez is uh, pitching at City Field uh, this Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> but well, not good. for the Mets. That, going, I did not know that. That's hilarious. I'm going to watch him pitch. <laughs> that's why I'm going. Yeah. Uh, go for listeners who don't know, he's pitching for the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> and uh, apparently his he said and his agent said that it was a choice between the Mets and the Brewers and uh, and that uh, the Brewers would give him better chances to play. Which I, I assume that's a code word for uh, they didn't want to DFA Jason Vargas. <laughs> Well, you know what I always say about Gio Gonzalez? Does Pitches great at City well Field. At City Field. <laughs> I'm going to see a clinic. I'm going to see a clinic on Sunday. <laughs> it's the one thing I know about him. Yeah. I don't know why they would have the DFA Jason Vargas and they could put him in the bullpen. I feel like he's the kind of guy, he doesn't throw very hard, so it's not like he has to get like super like loose. Like, he could probably go a couple days in a row. You know, he can barely it, pitch out of an inning, though. He, he does not... He does not seem that bad. He he like he has like really bad days, but he he pitches his you know his four and two thirds of two. Yeah, run he just ball, can't. He can't pitch very like, much. Which like if if you could do that out of the bullpen, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So like okay. if he, if he's like your your if he's your guy that comes in to clean up your mess, like if like if like Syndergaard or Degrom has a bad start, you bring in Jason Vargas, then that's a like like that's you know a, a great guy to be in that role. But as an actual starter, it's just not. And yeah, they 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 need someone. They need Seth Lugo to be in the rotation. He's really good. I'm just remembering that one really, really bad start he had, where he was pulled out for one inning and he was a sweaty mess, like the post game <laughs> interview. And like, that's colored my impression of Jason Vargas like even worse. Yeah, and he said he was confused. Yeah, and it's funny because like Stephen Matz got pulled after one inning and one start, right? But you know, know he's 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 a good looking, decent looking dude. Whereas <laughs> when sandwich. you see Jason Vargas get pulled after one inning, he looks like uh, he's a deer in the headlights. So. Looks like uh, Tim Burton. Shout out to Tim Burton. That's what you disservice to Tim Burton by comparing Jason Vargas to him. I don't like Tim Burton. <laughs> well, I yeah. guess I know why now. All you Tim like Burton Jason fans, Vargas. listeners, uh, tune out. <laughs> I see ya. As, as Ben in. Simmons would say, stay on, would say, stay on that side. <laughs> On what side, though? Like I Australia, don't know that side. America? <laughs> Who knows? The one you're on, not this oh, one. Did you, you ever hear the, the, the old expression, uh, "the grass is greener on the other side"? That's what never. I've about. never heard that in my fucking life. That that's what that's the other side where the grass is, is all green. Andrew, can what you grass? clarify what you mean? I don't understand. So, a lot of times you'll be doing something. And you'll oh, be like, we're not wow, doing this. We're not doing I, this. I I wish <laughs> that my grass could be as green as that grass over there. And is that's, grass, that's what is grass a means. drug thing? Is that like a drug no, thing? No, grass is like, you know when like you have a house and there's like the lawn and there's a what? thing, the, the green stuff in the lawn? That's called grass. What's okay. a house? Is that a, is that a drug thing? No, I think that, I, it, I think it's because you guys are from uh, from the deeper part of Queens where this is less grass. <laughs> you probably don't get it. Uh, I'm closer to Queens than you are. <laughs> what the hell? The, well, no, but, but where I live, there's a lot more grass in Queens. You know, so is that a drug thing? Area. No. It's a grass. Right, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Hey, can I try a segue? All right. Segway. <laughs> like the one that you ride, or one that you mean? <laughs> a seg you. You mean the one you're doing right now? Yeah, the one the one I'm doing right now. Speaking of <laughs> right. grass being green, uh, on the baseball field there is green grass as well. Okay. And uh, on that same baseball field, a couple days ago, we saw Jacob Rehm out there. Uh, throwing some pitches suspiciously close to the head and neck and uh, 
face regions of Reese Hoskins. And then the next day we saw Reese Hoskins just take a massive dump all over <laughs> Jacob Rame, uh and send him back to Syracuse or wherever the Jacob Rames of the world go. So, um, I don't know, man. Jacob Rahm, why would he... Do you think it was intentional throwing at Reese Hoskins, or do you think he just sucks? I don't think it was intentional. I really don't. I, at least the first pitch that he threw. The second one, because there were two in that at the first at bat. The second one might have been, because things were getting heated. The first one didn't look like... Look, it look, kind of looked like it got away from him. Oh, no, well, not really. But, like, it didn't It didn't look like there was much intent. Like, he kind of, like... He wasn't, like, staring him down. He was just like, oh, whatever. And then, like, tried to take the ball away. Like, it didn't look like he was... Like, weren't we up, like, a crazy amount anyway? Like, yeah. I mean, like... Like 9-0. Like, you know, like, who, who, like, who cares? Like, I mean, uh... Uh, I mean, props to Reese Hoskins for dumping on him, but then what? Why would the MLB then go? You know what? Jacob Rames should get suspended. What? That doesn't I make don't any know. sense to me. That doesn't make sense. I like, mean, not. We've all had like, experience not, with uh, being suspended. Yeah. No, not me. Oh, not Jeremy. And not you either, Moses. You I got, got I got upended. Well, I'm uh, the only one with experience getting ex- with getting suspended. All right. Well, I guess I'm expelled from the podcast too. <laughs> all right. Welcome to my entire team sucks. Uh, here we have Harrison, Andrew, and Jeremy. Hi. It's super weird that the MLB suspended him like two days after the incident happened, and people were like talking about it, and like people were interviewing like, the Phillies, like the Phillies fans, like the Mets fans, like Jacob Rave himself. They're like, "Yeah, no, it's had a bad pitch," and uh, met the MLB two days later decided to suspend him for some reason. They just want to sell their narrative of there being a rivalry, which there is obviously, but you know they want they want to promote it, so they got they got to suspend the guy because it's not like you know the Mets need Jacob Rave, so. Him being suspended doesn't actually impact the team in any, any it impacts, real way. It impacts my fandom of the team, though, because I really like having people with glass or sports goggles on the team because it makes me feel like... That could be you. <laughs> like I like when they have the, the goggles, team. not the glasses, because the goggles make them look like they're swimming, and that's like an advantage, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> More aerodynamic. And that's an advantage, I feel. <laughs> not if they're a pitcher, though. Could you the elaborate? Ball travel, <laughs> the ball would travel really slowly in the water. Well, actually, sound travels faster through water, so they probably hear the ball first and swing too soon. Yeah, oh, or but the pitcher would hear the the crack of the bat quicker and be able to feel the ball. Ah, now we're, now we're glasses and goggles are, was a big reason I was a fan of Jason Phillips and a big fan of Tyler Clippard. Tyler Clippard. Well, Cl- Clippard had like glasses. Goggles, How about uh, so JJ Putz? Right? Didn't he have them? Oh no, I was not a fan of JJ. Putz. Did he have them, or am I am I just confusing all my white relievers? I don't think he had them. Uh, he was just big and bad. A real putz. <laughs> yeah, he was a real putz for us. He was trash. Speaking putz, of um, glasses, uh, Jacob Rame looks like not a baseball player <laughs> at all. Like we have we have a picture pulled up on him uh, on our screens, and he looks like a goober. And, and if you want to see it, you can go into Google <laughs> Images and type in Jacob Rame. <laughs> and it's the first fucking image that comes up for all you listeners playing along at home. <laughs> Oh god, we're making it bigger. <laughs> yeah, what you yeah. need to do is you should bring it up and slowly enlarge it, so it looks like he's getting closer and closer to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, qu- qu- quickly open up that MS Paint and then. Uh... In fact, if you guys have Oculus Rift, <laughs> uh, just go ahead and plug that in, and uh, you know Google up Google up Jacob Rame. That sounds horrifying. No, thank you. And uh, <laughs> move have... your head closer to him. And then if you if you kind of like look left and right, his eyes follow you. So what would he do? Yeah, if he wasn't a baseball player, what do you guys think? Mm, I think that he would be Jeremy Lim's best friend. <laughs> That's me, he, by the way. Listen. He would teach Regents bio. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no he. <laughs> and he get really mad that uh, he he doesn't take, <laughs> teach AP bio. <laughs> he would get so mad when some kid like doesn't do his homework. He like, would throw like, at him. He's just like, like, why, why didn't you fucking do it? <laughs> and then the kid would be all upset. The more I look at this guy, the more I think he looks like Mike Pelfrey wearing a disguise. <laughs> uh, wearing some, some fake glasses right, and facial I kinda, hair. I kind of see it. <laughs> so, according to Wikipedia, Mike Pelfrey is now a coach at Newman University. So I think that's what Jacob Rame would be doing. He would be uh, a coach at Newman University. And not only do you think that he would be doing that, you think he is doing that right now. I think he's leading a double life, yeah. <laughs> I hope that um, the, any any family members of Jacob Rame who are listening to this will uh, start digging deeper. 
He looks so, like he pays two thousand dollars a month to live in Williamsburg and code at a startup. <laughs> Are there? He, he fucking rides a fixie to work every day, and he gets uh, bagels, Oof. like scoop bagels at that too. Damn, Jacob Ray used to be fat. Really? Yeah, I think so. I will say he does look better, like in not that picture. Like in the interview, I was like, oh, this guy is somewhat handsome, you know? Like, I like, like him in this picture. He's got a Jeremy charm to him. That's me, by the way. <laughs> I am Jeremy. You say that all the time. I say that constantly in real life. So does Jacob Rehm, which is why he really has that Jeremy quality. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm trying, but I, I can't use the letters in Jacob Rehm to spell Mike Pelfrey, so I don't think it's actually good. Oh, I'm man. really is that trying. Is you quiet for the last couple I'm of minutes? I'm really trying. <laughs> well, you know how, like, you know, it's like, ah, oh, you know, my name's Alucard. Oh, shit, if you think about it, that's just Dracula. But, no, like, it's not actually what Jacob Rehm doesn't work that way. Alright, quick, quick yeah. aside, that has nothing to do with baseball, but, like, your Dracula, your Castlevania name is your dad's name backwards. Okay. So... I can't. I can't pronounce that. Uh, Trouts. <laughs> I gotta write it down. Actually, so. Bocage. <laughs> you sound Neg. like you're just on the Pacers. Harrison, uh, <laughs> please, uh, pl pl please pronounce that for me. Uh, well, you picked the wrong person to do it, but <laughs> <Jake. laughs> you said my dad's name backwards. Jake. Jake. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> well. It's. <Jake. laughs> it's Hitiek. <laughs> it's missing a vowel. <laughs> That's Keith spelled backwards, by the way. <laughs> For all you yeah, listeners, yeah, without the, first. the benefit of our Google Doc. Yeah, and also if you don't have uh, subtitles on. <laughs> For the hearing impaired. Wait. Hey, deaf culture. By the way, we're looking to hire someone to translate the podcast into Japanese, so please apply uh, for that position. Uh, it's actually just us. a guise for, to date me. I'm Jeremy, by the way. Jeremy single. <laughs> I'm not very. Hey, all you listeners mingle. out there, he's please, available. He's cute too. Please date me. Please, please date me. I'll oh. take it to a Mets game. I probably won't. Wow. 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 <laughs> You're selling yourself no, short they're, here, they're, Jeremy. They're disappointed. <laughs> It'll just force you to listen to this podcast. <laughs> I probably will. And Goose House at the same time. Whoa, we don't talk about the name anymore. Oh, play that goose. Thank you. That means it's in all of our best interest to find somebody for uh, for Jeremy to date because that means we get one more listener, baby. And if you find multiple people for me to date, that's multiple listeners. Yeah. So if you, you find like, like one million yeah. people to date, we'll have like <laughs> one million and three viewers or listeners. Sorry. Oh, uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna um, shout out my boy DJ Zombie quickly, very quickly right now. Adam, I know you're not listening to these, but you like them a lot. I love you, Adam. Okay. Anyway, uh, Mets defense bad. Why? <laughs> oh, Everybody, back to this topic. That was oh, Harrison, shit. our wonderful uh, master of ceremonies. <laughs> Straight the to the point. The defense is bad because they don't try. They're like, yeah, I could get the ball, but. I think like Ahmed Rosario in particular, uh, kind of having a tough time out there. It's okay. We have two kids coming up. We're gonna replace them. We'll just trade them. Oh boy! Damn, I'm gonna resign. already not a kid. I, I like three of our top five prospects are shortstops right now, and one of those five is Pete Alonso. So really, like, <laughs> our next three guys are shortstops. <laughs> I want to see Pete Alonso like take a crack at shortstop. I want to see how that goes. I don't poorly. Yeah, very no. poorly. Very very poorly. <laughs> The other thing is, like, what is up with our, our, like, catching situation? I feel like I've seen so many just awful pass balls the last few days. Like, does Darno uh, just, just infect everyone with his, his awfulness, or? I think Ramos has always been that way. That's been, like, his Achilles heel, always, is that. Because, like, he's not going to be the guy that, like, gets down for the ball, you know? Like, because he would fucking die. And then Darno <laughs> just sucks, so. Wait, like... by the way, have we... I don't know if you guys, like, know this, but have we won a game this year that Darno has started? Ooh, that's very interesting. I kind of don't think uh, that we have. I think so. I want to say yes. Unless he started the second one. DeGrom start. I would love to say yes. But <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I don't think he was back by then, but I, I... Oh, no, he was. He was there for the start of the season, wasn't he? No, he's on... No, no, yeah, yeah, no, he, that's right, yeah. Because we had fucking... Uh, don't oh, Nito. that's right. Um, but I, I feel like there was one game in, like, Miami or something... Or no, I don't think it was against them. I feel like there was like a game three of a series that he started where we won. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll fix it in post. We'll figure it out. 
Well, I mean, no, even, even if we it did, it's, it is a problem that we, like, really, really have to, like, dig deep to look for one. <laughs> no, we don't. It is Rene Rivera. Oh, never mind. I, know, I know what you're saying now, that <laughs> we really look for a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut right, that I'm out, Bart. Cut so that don't out. cut it out. No, don't cut in. that out. Yeah, I'm not Yeah, don't cut this Moses out, Moses in the future. No, keep this in. in. <laughs> no, cut this, this out. Cut it and put it in the next podcast as, like, an aside. <laughs> like randomly Where? right before it starts. <laughs> uh, three surgeons talking about three surgeons talking about a tumor. Cut it out. Cut it out. No, keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> that one's getting fired. I don't oh, know what the man. fuck he's talking about. Oh. While we're on the topic of people we love, like Travis Darno, oh. who's our favorite current met so far. Oh wow, Harrison's oh. really getting good at this. Oh boy. Did, did did you like read a book on how to do this? Because like man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god since i'm <laughs> since i'm first I'm, I'm the first one showing up here on this google oh, document. first pick again first pick again um my favorite current met i mean like the, i feel like the the one that i the the one that i most identify with of this new group of of young mets it's got to be jeff mcneil um you know i love the squirrels i always take pictures of squirrels oh yeah cute squirrels much, that i creepy. see little creepy uh but it's it's also kind of cute and adorable and fun and it's not creepy at all and it's just such a fun springtime thing to see the cute little little boys little chunkers out and, and eating their nuts uh and so jeff mcneil obviously my favorite because he's a cute little squirrel and he can hit and he got hit by a pitch the other day and he like really really loudly on the broadcast he said ah fuck me man <laughs> in the dorkiest way so, did you see yeah. a really nice backhand uh play he did in left field like he's not great at left field but you know he's getting he's getting there oh good. and what did he say he threw he threw somebody out right and what did he say Jamie? yeah at home he said, oh i got a I hose, got a hose. I, I got a hose, hose. <laughs> like mo bamba he's got hose <laughs> i got a hose I like his entire play style, like a big fuck you of like uh, three true outcomes. Baseball, dude. You know, he, he just he just singles, gets base he gets doubles. Hits. Yeah, he walks. He's great. I really like him as a leadoff hitter, especially now that Nimmo is kind of struggling a little bit the last few months, but like months, last few weeks. But like, I don't know. He 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 seems like he's gonna be a mainstay of this lineup for a long time. I really like Heck him. Yeah. I, uh, I just had a... oh, I'm sorry, Harrison. You go. I, find, I just find it really funny that, like, they refused to call him up last year because, like, he only plays second base. And now he's, like, a Ben Zobris type, just, like, playing fucking wherever. Oh, yeah, and, and for all you longtime listeners, uh, I think in the first episode of the podcast, for all, for all you OGs, um, I was, we were talking about, um, like, the potential, I don't know, was this in the first episode? We were talking about the potential trade uh, for, for cano like right after it happened and before it happened they were talking about maybe including mcneil in uh in that package um and i was not a fan of that and i was very relieved that they kept him. so ha i'm the best i know it's really bad uh just like he's an emergency catcher so it's really bad if both of the catchers go down but i really want to see him catch a game it's gonna happen you know it's gonna happen Hell yeah! Like the, it's you know it's like the Chekhov's gun of baseball. If they say he's the emergency catcher offhandedly in April, you know in September he's going to be catching like multiple games. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do worse than Darno, right? Uh, he could. Andrew, before I uh, interrupted you, who's your oh, favorite bet currently? Yeah, so I was going to say that if I had to pick an offensive player. I also would pick Jeff McNeil just because like I like just watching him just take his at bat. You fucking just, guy, always steal my so shit. Good. But yeah, oh by the way, I didn't mean to steal your song because I only uh, I I I didn't even mean to take the first song of the album. I meant to take the third song. Oh, on, Gamma Knife. Uh, yes, Gamma Knife because of the like, drums at the beginning. So I apologize for stealing but, your song. But Andrew, it's okay to. because that we came up with our our number one idea, which is to have a lineup using that album. <laughs> uh, and looping over and over again. Once again, that that's trademarked beautiful. already. Listeners, you you can't steal that. That's ours. That's for our baseball team. <laughs> this is team. now lore. This is now yeah. referencing to previous episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have a clip show of last, uh, um, best last of. Uh, episode? Best of of last episode. <laughs> <laughs> the best of of last episode will be 45 be minutes thing. long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best of for this one would be like 20 seconds. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cut that out, you. <laughs> <Don't leave laughs> <it in. laughs> 
No, I'm leaving all of this in. No, cut it no out. well, now you gotta cut it out. Oh, okay. Um, but since I don't have to pick an offensive player, I'm picking Jacob DeGrom, who is an offensive player, so I really still am picking an offensive oh, nice. player, because he, he swings a mean bat. But uh, there is nothing I love more than the Mets, than watching... Than the Mets. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's phrasing like that, but I'm, there's nothing I love more in baseball than watching a pitcher just work his way and just dissect the team and take him apart. Um, my favorite Mets player of all time, I think, is Matt Harvey, just because of when he came Ooh. up, how fun it was to watch him pitch. Like Every time he started, it was just like, oh, this is great. And Jacob DeGrom can be that now. And he basically... And the last few starts, he hasn't been, just because of circumstance, I think. Uh, but... By the time we're halfway through the season, he'll be in full form, and it'll be beautiful, and every start will be a must-watch affair, and I can't wait. But, like, in a good way, because, like, last year, it was, like, a must-watch to see, like, how the Mets would not do anything. <laughs> yeah, this year's going to be more like, you know, uh, like, like, like when Bartolo pitches. You want to watch because you're going to have fun. Yeah. Can't wait to catch the game at 11 p.m. <laughs> Jeremy, who do you like? Ooh. As, uh, so even though my boy Moses took a little bit of a mini shit on him during his little favorite current Matt uh, spiel, my favorite current Matt is Brandon shit. Nimmo. He took a little, little, a little dookie on him. Really small. But Brandon Nimmo, he is slumping. All right, I will admit. But is he still smiling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Nimmo is a ray of sunshine in this piss poor place called uh, where were we? Uh, Flushing. Right. Brandon Nimmo is amazing. He brightens everybody's day. And when he was a kid, he wanted to be a bull rider. Like, that's amazing. He wanted to be a bull rider but failed, so he became a baseball player. <laughs> He's living the dream. That and also, know. I just love seeing, like, whenever he gets hit, he just sprints to first. Whenever he takes a walk, he sprints to first. I love, see- I love seeing him get a walk or get hit by a pitch. <laughs> it's amazing. I just love everything about him. And um, Brandon Nimmo, if this gets to you, um, please get me your jersey, because right now I have a blank Mets jersey, and I would like your number nine on the back. And your name? No, just <laughs> the number. We're doing Yankees, baby, or mid or two thousand, early two thousand Mets, late nineties, two thousand. Yeah, you know, late nineties oh, Mets, late nineties Mets. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw in, future uh, Yankee Brandon Nimmo. You heard it here first. I'm sorry, Harrison. Go ahead. I saw somebody with a fucking Yankees uh, Syndergaard jersey. But, like, oh. it was 34, but he also, like, had to say Syndergaard on the back to, like, show those Syndergaard to go to the Yankees. <laughs> well, I mean, if you go to, like, Models and buy a Yankees t-shirt, it always had the names on the back. Yeah, but you're going to be a fucking it's a poser. Numbers. It's the numbers. It's the numbers. That's it. You want to be legit? Only numbers. Fucking stupid-ass Yankee fans can't even know that. <laughs> uh, wow. Anyway, back Looks to the Mets. BM. Uh, Michael Conforto is my favorite Mets because he hits dingers, and that's what I like in my baseball players. Also, um... He is such a absolute unit of a man that he literally <laughs> tore his shoulder, like swinging the bat too hard. I, I, I was that. I was there for that game, and we were just up there in our in our in our you know upper seats just watching. And he takes a swing and he just goes down, and we're like, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> like it was it was just the strangest thing I've ever seen. Did it look like he got and, shot? Yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. It looked like like he was just like doing everything normal and then just collapsed. Wasn't Chris Christie there too? He maybe he shot him. Yes. We, so uh, at one point, everyone just starts booing, and we're like, "What is going on?" Because we were right above his section, so we couldn't <laughs> see him. Um, and it's, it was, we were just like, "What? Like, why is everyone booing so loud? Like, what happened?" And then we found out later when we were watching Sports Night, only on SNY, um, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that Chris Christie was there, and they were like, "Ah, oh, so that's why." Steve Gilbs, please come on. You remember there yeah. was there was Bridgegate, and then there was Conforto Gate. I mean, game that Chris Chrissy has been to that Michael Conforto has got a shoulder injury. That's one, you know. One hundred percent of the time. Exactly. Oof. You hear you heard her here fo- first, folks. Uh, also, I was watching like a lot of meaningless baseball in 2017 for the Mets, and like Michael Conforto was like the only reason to like ever turn it on. You know, as was like Travis Tyrone taking major league at bats. Is there any meaningful baseball, or is it all Ooh. meaningless? Can wow. we just watch it to distract uh, ourselves sad. from oh, real life? Wow. Oh my god. I'm getting hit. We need to go back go back to happy Moses. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back to uh, fun stuff, like with Jeremy and his uh, game show. Ooh. What do you got for us tonight? Yes, let's do this. I'm so excited. So, welcome to my game segment. So last time, uh, for you uh, loyal listeners, we did a little segment called Name That or Guess That Random Matt, 
where I would give clues and they would try to figure out which random men I was. But this time we're changing it up, uh, changing it up a little bit, and we're calling this Mets Math with Professor Lin. That's that's me. I'm Jeremy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> hello. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm going to be giving you certain uh, stats or things like uh, number values, but I'll explain them with words. And you're going to have to try to guess what that value is. And then I'm going to give you another one and then another one and also give you operations. So, for example, it could be like the number of home run apples at City Field plus the number uh, – uh, David Wright's number, right? So what would that be? Six. Correct, right? So something like that. But it's more complicated than that. And uh, we're going to be going with uh, Price is Right rules where it's closest guess wins without going over. Um, so there will always be a winner in these rounds. And also, uh, if you do get the right answer, and you're the first person to get the right answer, uh, just the calculation, right? I'm going to ask you to show your work, right? So if you show your work, you're just going to be like, okay, well, this is this, and this is that, and this is that. And if nobody gets the work completely right, whoever gets closest, it just, will just go closest. Um, so, oh, also, uh, for all you math heads out there, I, I know there are so <laughs> many, uh, we're going to be ignoring order of operations or PEMDAS. So it's just going to be left to right. So the order in which I'm saying it is what the order of the operations are going to be doing. Um, okay. They're very clear. Yeah. Is clear it like enough? the first person to say the answer gets it? Um, no, we're, no, we're going to go uh, in oh, – I'm going to – well, actually – Everyone should just be able to give an answer, and then you say which one was, is the closest to the right answer. Okay. Fine, we'll okay. do that. But then I have to give enough time for people to really yes. figure that out. I'm not, I'm not evil. All right. I'll give you some time. Okay, so is everybody ready for the first clue? Yep. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'll repeat this a couple times because it might you might not have enough time to get it the first. Time. So, the number of home runs David Wright hit in 2012, plus the number of losses against the Marlins last season, plus oh I'm sorry divided by Jose Reyes's number. I'll say that one. I'll say it again. The number of home runs David Wright hit in 2012, plus the number of losses against the Marlins last season, divided by Jose Reyes's number. Hmm. Do I need to repeat it for anybody? No. So this is where this is where we see who the real Mets fans are and the real math heads are. Where my math heads at? All right. Should I give a first answer? Oh, do you have an answer, Harrison? Yeah. Why not? Let's go. Uh, do you do uh, does uh, Moses and Andrew, do you guys I have an answer? answer. Yep. Okay. So let's start. We'll we'll go and we'll go Harrison, Moses, Andrew, and then we'll do the other way around for the next round. So Harrison, okay. what is your guess? Five. So uh, that is incorrect. Wait, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> you well, you guys all have answers first. already, right? Yeah, but we should all answer the question first, and then whoever gets closest. Because right? uh, what if I have the same answer as him? <laughs> well, then you don't change have your five? answer. <laughs> I have to change it. Okay. No, no then, don't but, change but, your but, answer. But, I said. But, oh, okay. Okay, well, okay, we'll go to Moses then. Moses. Uh, seven. And then Andrew, what'd you put? Five. Okay, so I'll tell you guys right now that nobody got it so far, right? So uh, let's see. Let's do. Harrison, show me your work for this. All right. So I don't fucking know how many goddamn home runs they were right in twenty thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. I'm going to say, you know, he's a pretty, pretty good home run hitter, right? I'm going to say 30. Okay. And uh, you know what? I I think the Marlins are a bad team, so they won't, like, they've only lost five times to him. You know what? 35 is a good number, right? Divided by seven, it's five. Okay. Uh, Andrew, what do you have? So uh, I gave the Marlins a bit more credit. Not too much more, though. I did uh, 28 home runs plus seven losses divided by Jose's number seven. Uh, Moses, just, let, let's just see what your work was. I want to know. I give uh, I give the Mets quite a bit less credit, and I think I gave David Wright quite a bit more credit. Uh, I gave him, let's see, I gave him 35 home runs, and then I said however many uh, losses we would need to the Marlins to get to... Uh... See, I kind of forgot that we were doing Price is Right rules. Let's say that. <laughs> and that's how I got to seven. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you guys all right now that you all went over. Right. Oh. But since you all went over, I'm gonna be doing it based on who got closest in terms of the individual stats, and that would be okay. Andrew. Ooh, so yeah. So Andrew, you I are totally it. correct. We lost seven games to the Marlins last season. Reyes' number is seven, but not 28 home runs. Is I think that's what you said, right? Mm-hmm. Or no, what'd you say? 28 home runs. Yeah, he had 21 home runs. Ooh. So 21 plus seven divided by seven is four. 
Uh, he needed to play more games at, at Philadelphia that year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Andrew gets the point that round. Um, <sighs> Moses, I'm a little disappointed. Damn, Andrew's three for three in uh Well, l- 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 in let me just put it this way. Um, GG, easy. All right, next question. You already All did right. that. <laughs> the, the, we're, getting, we're getting a little harder now, right? The, the numbers are mo- going up, okay? Boy. Omar Quintanilla's number with the Mets in 2014 – Plus, the number of gold gloves Keith has. Plus, the number of wins the Mets had in 1962. Plus, the number of years Howie Rose has done play-by-play for the Mets. Jesus Christ. So that's one, two, three, four numbers you should have. Can you run it over one more time? Yes, I will. Of course. Omar Quintanilla's number with the Mets in 2014. Plus, the number of gold gloves Keith has. Plus, the number of wins the Mets had in 1962. Plus... The number of years Howie Rose has done play-by-play for the Mets. Damn. Got busted out a calculator for this. You can use a calculator, just don't Google it. Unless you use a Google calculator, that's totally <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, this is gonna, This looks super wrong, but okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I can't okay. even forgot how many fucking games the Mets Wait, wait, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Play-by-play yes. as in just on the radio? Uh, sp- yeah, well, I mean, the... I mean, okay. I mean, play by play start like because he's never taken a year off, right? So basically, take the year that he first started play by play, and then 2019, you know, subtract. Oh, jeez. Okay. Moses, are you ready? Because I think the other two are ready. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay, so this time we're starting with Andrew, then we're going Moses Harrison. Okay, Andrew, what is your answer? I said 79. Moses, what is your answer? Uh, 73. And Harrison, what is your answer? What hundred and eleven? Harrison, his price is right rules. Oh my lord! Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, Harrison didn't get it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Harrison. Thank you for playing, though. <laughs> if they said it's a seventy something, I'm like, oh boy, this doesn't look good for me. Nobody got the exact answer, but somebody did come very close without going over. Oh, oh, 111, no. yeah! <laughs> and that is Moses. Yes! Shit, I went oh over. Oh my god. Moses, I'd what like was your answer one more my time? Mom, I'd like to thank God. Uh, my <laughs> answer was 73. And now show your work, please. Uh, so I'm pretty sure Omar Quintanilla was number one. Was keep that going. right? Okay. No, just keep going um, all the way. And I feel like Keith Hernandez won something like 10 gold clubs. Okay, and keep I going. know. Okay. I know that the Mets lost 120 games in 1962, which makes me leads me to the belief that they won 42 games. Uh, and for the Howie Rose one, I'm really like, I'm trying to think back. I know he was the uh, the television guy with Gary Cohen for a while, but I don't remember if he was the the play by player or not. So I just gave a wild guess and said 20. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell I'll I'll, I'll tell you right now, uh, you didn't get a single one right. Okay. But you got really close. That's not the game. That's not the game. <laughs> yeah, I know that's not the game. You got the point. First, though, Jeremy. Okay, fine, Andrew. Wait, wait. Andrew for for pride, tell me, wait, tell wait, me what wait, you're wait. thinking. Oh, uh, was Omar number four? A uh, number zero? Omar was number zero in twenty. Yeah. Okay, I got that part right. That's all I cared about. <laughs> <laughs> he was originally number three, and then he came back to the Mets later, so I had to specify. Um, but yeah, he was number zero. zero. I was gonna have it originally <laughs> multiplied by Omar Quintanilla's number in twenty four. Did that Mets lose hundred twenty five <laughs> games? No way. Okay, I'll tell you right now, right? Okay. Omar Quintanilla's number with the Mets in 2014, zero. Plus the number of gold gloves Keith has, 11. Oh, okay. Was and close. that was in a row, too. That was consecutive. Um, the number of wins the Mets had in 1962, they did lose a 120, but there was only 160 games that year. What the hell? So they, they won 40. Oh, oh, I got that right, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have a and nice the number round of years number. Howie Rose has done play-by-play is 24. 24. Oh my god. Ooh. So that would give I, you 75. I lost because I thought Howie's been there for longer. Howie fucking wh- 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 He was doing wh- hockey. Time been? He was doing fucking hockey, Andrew. You, been, you should Howie. know. You should know. Oh, my Mateau, Rangers. Mateau, Mateau. Mateau. Why is it, why, stick, stick to the ball game. <laughs> would have given me more points, man. Yeah, so so the correct number was 75. And Andrew, I think, went over. Mm-hmm. Uh, Harrison... Well, mm, and then some I Moses. thought his number was like 28. Oh, okay. You know, like a reasonable, like, regular baseball number. <laughs> so Moses has won. Andrew also has won. And Harrison, sadly, has a big old zero. 
Uh, like, suck my asshole, Jeremy. <laughs> You'll get right, it next so this time, is, Harrison. You this is what? number three. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Jeremy for this one. Like, listeners, I don't know if you, you realize this, but this is, like, the best Mets trivia segment ever. <laughs> <laughs> suck our asshole, beat the booth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, beat the booth is so cool. Yeah, no, 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 but th- those those questions are too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the Booth is really good for Howie and Gary to show off how good they are. <laughs> and Keith Hernandez is just like, fucking whatever, I don't care. Well, I, mean, I like how Keith and Ronnie, really... when they were doing it, it was, oh, they... or no, it was Ronnie and someone else. Who else, who else was Top a former two. player? It, it might have been him, but I, th- no, I think it was no. Keith. And they were, but they were saying to each other, like, oh, yeah, this guy used to teach me in this pl- thing, and then, like... But they wouldn't the know guys, it. And, and, no, but they would know it. And that's how they, they got each other's, like, if I an- get the answer... Oh, then, they'd like, be really specific, and, a clue. And then, and then, like, Howie was like, oh, how are we supposed to do that? Like, we don't <laughs> oh, have yeah, contact with people. Oh, yeah, I do remember people. that. I do remember <laughs> we just that. We just baseball stats. It, it was a lot of fun, though, <laughs> to watch that. All right, so right now they it's one-to-one one to zero, right? Um, and... Right, we were planning three, but if Harrison somehow gets this one, then I have a fourth tiebreaker. So we're always, Perfect. we always, we always have a plan. All right, uh, Harrison, were you gonna say something? I feel like I cut you off. Happens a lot, but <laughs> no, the only, the only game I'm right, really so good we're go- at no. is. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do that, Jeremy. Hate, I hate both of you. <laughs> the only game I'm good at is a hat shuffle game, and you know what? Even then, they'll get all of them right. So <laughs> wait, but everybody's that's for kids. The hat that's really easy. Game. <laughs> That's really easy. The, the, the only game I'm gonna add is uh, learning Spanish with Professor Reyes. Professor Reyes. Oh my God. Oh. Main Street USA. <laughs> okay. You heard her here first. He's not good at League of Legends, guys. Oh wow. And with our last one, Jerry, take it away. <laughs> okay. So this one's gonna get really. It's gonna get hard. That's okay? what she said. She's never said that to me. Okay, so the number of Mets who came to bat in 1986, bottom of, uh, bottom of the 10th, game 6, so the infamous inning, right? Oh, okay. Buckner inning. The number of Mets who came to bat that inning, plus the number of years the Mets had the Pepsi porch, plus the number of managers the Mets have had since 2003, including the current one, multiplied by the number of years SNY has existed. So I'll do it again. The number of Mets who came to bat in the Buckner inning, the number of years the Mets had the Pepsi porch, Plus the number of managers the Mets have had since 2003, multiplied by the number of years SNY has existed. Is everybody clear, or should I do it again? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, okay, you're gonna have to give me a couple, give me a little bit. That's for fine. This one. It's a, it's. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. It is. Uh, it's the biggest number so far. I'll just okay. tell you that. Oh, because right, there is a multiplication. Right. Big hint. Big hint. Oh. That is a big hint. But everybody got yeah, the same. Pull up that so trusty really calculator. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, viewers, or listeners, I keep saying viewers. You guys can't see me. Uh, or maybe well, we have our uh, wow. Video podcast. Are you calling them blind? Like, I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean listen- it's fine if they are, but are you calling them that? Or are you assuming? <laughs> listeners, uh, they're pulling out calculators because they can't do any math in their head because they're a bunch of <laughs> stupid idiots. I'm so, sorry, uh, I'm white and not if Asian. You're, if you're playing like along at home, uh, you can use a calculator, uh, but I'm going to think you're really stupid. This one, this one's a hard one. This one's gonna be a since two thousand three. The managers? Yes, since two thousand three, including two thousand three. So like okay. two thousand three and up. Uh, bonus points. That, uh, I'm gonna ask you guys uh, if anybody wants to do for pride. What the managers have been? I think I can do that. Yeah, I think you guys can. Uh, Bob Barker. Um... <laughs> Alex, uh, Trebek, Alex Trebek. <laughs> Jane Leno. Jack and Vanna White. And uh, Scott Rogowski, the Trap Trebek. The Trap Trebek. <laughs> What's he doing nowadays? Uh, he left HQ recently. Uh, shout out to Rogowski because he's a he's a Mets dude too, right? Uh, but he yeah. left them recently to do a sports show somewhere else. I know he was on a uh, SNY for a while, wasn't he? Or he was for the Mets. He's doing stuff for the Mets. Well, he was doing stuff for the stadium. I remember, like City Field stuff. I think, like in like in in stadium, like doing some. I or maybe he was doing SNY. He was doing something with the Mets, and so we saw him a bunch. Wait, Jeremy, was it was it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Was it the yep. the first one plus the second one plus the third one times the years of S N Y? Yes. Okay. First one plus the second one plus the third one times the fourth one. Well, I got my answer. Andrew, do you have your answer? Yes. Moses. Oh wait, one second. I uh, I, I went a bit conservative. I think I my number's too low. But... Same here, really. Oh no. Okay, I got it. All right, all right, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> and then you put half. <laughs> uh, Moses, you ready? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start this time with Moses. So Moses, what was your answer? 270. Harrison, what was your answer? 1311. 
13 11? Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, um, SNY has existed since the beginning of time. <laughs> On the oh, eighth day, God this, created okay? SNY. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew, what did you put? Uh, 204. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, again, nobody got the exact answer. Really? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> However, one person did get close enough and was below, and that oh, was oh, Andrew. Oh, oh, yes. Fuck. Oh, my victory So, speech. Andrew, show me your work. I'll do it. All right. So, uh, what, what were the prompts again? <laughs> the number of Mets who came to bat in the Bill Buckner half. Uh, I wrote six. Okay, and then the number of years the Mets had the Pepsi porch. Six. Uh, the number of uh, managers the Mets have had since 2003. Two, uh, five. And the number of years SNY has existed. And this is where I was conservative, 12. Okay. So. All right. Uh, before I tell you what's right, I really want to know what Harrison put. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so, okay, okay. So, I put six for okay. the, uh. The first one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I put uh, nine, you know, because you know it's a good number. <laughs> and then I put uh, I put four because you know uh, it's a guess, you know, but something around that. Okay. And then I put uh, sixteen nine. You you thought S and Y was around before the In Mets 1950? existed. <laughs> <laughs> I both put it because I put six plus nine as well. <laughs> the beginning too. So. Did you just want to have the sex number in there somewhere, Harrison? Because that was yes. really detrimental to your game. I just want to say. I mean, if I didn't bungle it, I would have been fine. Man, you really did need your calculator for that one. Huh? All right, all I'm gonna say is Harrison. I'm proud of you. Thank you, <laughs> Moses. Uh, before I reveal Andrew's work, I just want to know what your work was too. Oh, I had six for number of uh, Mets coming to bat. Okay. I had seven for the the Pepsi porch, which uh-huh. I think was way off, um, and I had uh, five managers, uh, and I said fifteen years for S and Y. Oh my lord! Okay, so first Moses got everything right, but the multiplication right. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Damn. So it was six Mets came to bat. The Mets had the Pepsi porch for seven years, and there were five managers. Oh but my it, it, god! But the S and Y uh, first year. Was two thousand and six? No, the, the mm-hmm. NLCS year, yeah. not not nineteen fifty. I thought it was two thousand and four. <laughs> I didn't know if it was 06 or 07, so That's why yeah. I picked the lower one. Um, oh, oh, so wow, what that was smart. Yeah, then. There you go, exactly. And then, but uh, oh my God, Moses almost had it exactly. And I can name all the managers Damn. too. Okay, uh, 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 was, Moses, easy name part. the managers: Art Howe, Howe Willie Randolph, Jerry Manuel, Terry Collins, mm-hmm. Mickey Calloway. Correct. Uh, Art Y, I always call them. Art what? (laughs) Wait, did you really call them that? No. (laughs) (laughs) Right, so with the final score of 2 to 1 to 0, actually, I'll give Harrison a half. That was pretty funny. 2 to 1 to half. Andrew wins yet another Mets game. And Um, so, everybody applause. But, uh, Andrew, I would like a little victory speech. So, So, you know, when, when I first started doing this podcast, I thought I was a loser. But then I realized I was a winner. So maybe you should do a podcast too at home because maybe you'll feel better. And with that, that is our fourth. Andrew, I just, I, I'm so. sorry, Andrew, I just want to say right now you're the Golden State Warriors and uh, I'm Lou Williams. And I just want you to know that uh, you may get the titles, but I get all the bitches. So. Uh, because, you know, I just want to tell you that, you know, I, I, I don't take my talent from elsewhere. I'm the New England Patriots. I'm just the best automatically so mm. oh mr okay uh, no, for all you listeners out there new york giants fan andrew petrick just said he was the new england patriots <laughs> oh um, well i can so. say i can say because there, there are bitches oh i could say a, oh so bu- 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 i could say oh, this andrew, i could say andrew, that. how's your quarterback situation looking oh yeah oh, pretty, we got this new guy oh wait did you guys see pat mcafee <laughs> announce that pick in the third round <laughs> He went off like it was a WWE promo. It was crazy good. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> he was like, I'll... I, I, you know, I won't bring up the the the, the Titans record because it was in Nashville. The Titans record against Indianapolis. Um, you know, but the last time I played you guys, I was the punter. Um, but you know, you guys uh, didn't really seem. I didn't very. I didn't punch very much because you know we didn't really have. To, we scored a lot. <laughs> so you guys probably don't even know who I am. Oh my God, he's healing <laughs> That's on right, guys. Welcome was... to Talking Football, our football podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, it's just really funny. Podcast. You guys look that up; it's amazing. <laughs> well, Look speaking back. of other sports, remember when Ovechkin killed that kid? That was great. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a crazy playoffs. Yeah, I'm pretty happy my team's in it, and not use. 
<laughs> not well, used. hey, we had the number two pick, baby. See that? That's, that's so not stupid. Gonna fuck up. No, They're no, not no, mess no, that no. One up. no, no, no. That's so stupid. I hate. And you. Jeremy just upset because uh, the Canucks are unlucky and the Rangers are lucky. Uh, for context, that, um, that, um, Jeremy's a Canucks uh, fan. Uh, Andrew is a Rangers fan, and Harrison is an Islanders fan. And I don't really watch gay sports like hockey. <laughs> no, you watch basketball instead. The most straight sport of them all. <laughs> Yeah, because there's the most balls in that sport, so it's really straight. Yes. <laughs> You're right. There's no balls in hockey. And with that, that is our fourth ever episode of uh, My Entire Team Sucks. Any shout-outs you guys want to do? Moses? Uh, I feel like that was extremely homophobic, what I just said, so shout-out to all the gay people out there. <laughs> <laughs> you figure out right the on, lesbians, man. the uh, bisexual, and the trans, though. Shout-out to plus. all people. <laughs> there we go. Of any sexuality, you're all welcome here. Except for Yankee fans. No, Yankee fans can listen. They oh, just can't oh, be yeah, on. They, they just like can't be on the show. They can listen though. <laughs> Sorry, we're Tristan. gonna get Tristan on soon. <laughs> <laughs> right now, he's right there. <laughs> Jeremy, anything you wanna shout yeah, out? Yeah, shout out to Kaz Matsui. I'm still thinking about you, buddy. I think about you all the time. Um, I'm. Th- I think about the time you ripped your asshole. And you had to, you were on the DL. Oh, that was crazy, my dude. I have your bobblehead still. Your head was very big in it. I love you, Kaz. Andrew? Yeah, I, I need to shout out Swiffer. Uh, I was dusting my room today, and god damn, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Harrison? And my personal shout out is Wendy's, because I like their spicy chicken sandwiches. Oh. And, uh, only, no, they only have the 4 for 4, and I'm not only going there Guys, for 4 for 4. The last two were just ads. <laughs> well, that's what no one shouts out. Moses, Moses how paid. do you think we're funding this thing? <laughs> Through Wendy's chicken sandwiches. Well, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's how we attract the uh, we attract the uh, sponsors is by showing how good our ads are. Mets Math was <laughs> brought to you by Khan's Academy. Khan's tutorials. All right, see you guys uh, next week I'll or whatever guys. we do. No, please, no. please, I love you. I love you. I love you. No. And where's the where's the stop every time?